ಕ್ಷಣಾಪೇಕ್ಷಿತ ನ ಕ್ಷಮಂತೆ ವಿಮತಯ ಸಮುಪಾಸೆ ಪ್ರಿಯಸ್ಪತಿ ಮೈ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಮತಂಗೇಶು ಸ್ವತಂತ್ರ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತವಾನ್ ಹರಿ ಸ ವಿಷ್ಣುಶ್ಚ ಸ್ವತಂತ್ರ ಮಾಂ ಸ್ವೇಚ್ಛೆಯ ವರ್ತಯತ್ಯಜ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮನಸ್ತ ಪೂಜಾಸ್ತು ಮನೋವಾಕ್ಯ ವೃತ್ತಯ ಮಮೈಕಾ ಕರ್ತಾರ ಉದ್ದೇಶ್ಯಂಚ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಹರಿ and ethics go hand in hand without science ethics has no relevance without ethics science has no relevance there may be so many ethical points an ethical man thinks that i have <coughs> i have to help so many poor i have to uplift them he thinks if he is needy if he has got any sort of diseases i must go and give my help to him and uplift him he thinks so but this dream can be translated into reality when he takes the help of science otherwise it is not possible there is a poor patient he has got some problem take for example he has got some blood clot or a hole in his heart or any block in the arteries or veins then what he should do he wants to help from the ethical point of view but no ethic is there alone to help he must take the help of science he has to come to such type of doctor, illustrious doctor, and ask them to operate, and they have to operate him with the help of science, scientific development, then only he will be cured. Otherwise, just it is impossible. Science is there, but if the six is not there, He has no ethical values, so he doesn't think, I have to help. So both these go hand in hand, ethics and science. There is a scholar, he wants to impart his knowledge to the persons who are needy, but he must you use so many instruments which are the issues of scientific de- development here we are hearing so many distinguished speakers they are all willing to speak but without the help of scientific development without the help of this mind these machines how can they impart their knowledge so the intention of imparting the knowledge is based on ethics but it will be possible it will come into reality with the help of science so 
we must seek the blessing i mean we must take the help of scientists to make the ethics real but as acharya said without science ethics came into reality from the time immemorial there was no scientific development but ethics was there in mahabharata ramayana bhagavata in all the histories we see so many people who are very much particular about ethics but there was no any scientific development till ethics was there and another point as everybody said ethics is a part of religion if a person gives me a glass of water i must thank him this is ethics so i thank the person when i come to know that he has given me a glass of water without i can understand that he has given me a glass of water though i desire to thank i cannot so in religion we thank the almighty because we are the source with so many things body mind senses all these fire earth wind space time whatever we are using in this world everything is given by the almighty all these are gifts of lord narayana so all of us religious people are to thank the almighty but here in this religion science helps us because science makes us aware what god has given us we know god has given this body this is obvious we can understand easily without the help of science but we know only this much god has given this body not more than this but what is the body what are they in our body how many bones are there how many nerves are there how the their signs we cannot understand only by this i by our senses paranti kharin vetrana swayam bhu we cannot we cannot understand what is there within so we must take the help of science science tells us what is anatomy physiology then we can understand we should not thank god only for giving this body but so many things infinite things are given by the almighty which are there in my own body each and every eye of every man has got millions of nerves God has given me this eye I thank Krotrasya Srotram Manaso Manoyata Vacho Havacham Tau Pranasya Pranaha Chakshasya Chakshuhu But when I, shall, I come to know that not only this eye is single, single but millions of nerves are there in this one eye this is the gift of the Almighty then I shall thank more the Almighty this is the help of science so in this way science and religion 
these both go hand in hand. But as Acharya said, we can attain, we can achieve so many comforts in our life through this time. But mental equipoise, mental equilibrium can be had only with the help of ethics by the means of religion, not 